President Donald Trump is asking the country for four more years in the White House. He's fighting to keep his job tonight. Natasha Brown is live in the News Center with the latest on the Trump campaign. Natasha. Well, Jessica, CBS News projects the president has won at least 14 states. We're told the president is hosting 400 guests at the White House tonight. His campaign has a war room to monitor results throughout the night. Now, the president thanked his reelection staff at campaign headquarters in Arlington, Virginia, earlier this afternoon. President Trump's says he believes he has a solid chance of beating Joe Biden. Now, the president was looking for a big turnout from his supporters to vote in person. Here is what President Trump said just before the vote count. No, I'm not thinking about concession speech or acceptance speech yet. Uh, hopefully, I will be only doing one of those two. And, you know, uh, winning is easy. Losing is never easy. Not for me, it's not. I feel very good. Uh, after doing that many rallies, the voice gets a little bit choppy, I think. <laughs> God did not design, design it for, for that much, but, it, we, you know, look, we did a lot of them. We did uh, actually six the last day because one finished at two in the morning. So I put it on. So we did five plus sort of one, but we did a lot. And, uh, no, I feel great, really. Well, President Trump also had a message for Americans who did not vote for him. He said everybody should come together and that success will bring unity. Of course, we're still following the developments as this may turn into a very long night. Live in the News Center, Natasha Brown, CBS 3 Eyewitness mm, News. Long night indeed. Natasha, thank you.